Richard, it's Willie. Some inside France have called this France's 9-11, and we all know here in the United States how our lives, our day-to-day -day lives, whether it be travel or just walking around a major city, changed after September 11th. Is there a sense in Paris and at, at, in Europe at large, really, that this one day has changed everything for Europe? Will it feel different in those cities now? Uh, you don't hear those same kind of draconian statements coming out of uh, French officials that today we will never be the same, our life has to be different, our civil liberties have to be uh, compromised. Uh, they, perhaps they learned some lessons that a lot has changed between 9-11 and, uh, and today in France. But there, there is a, a feeling that this country feels very vulnerable, uh, that what they saw happening in, uh, in Yemen or Afghanistan, and it suddenly uh, did happen here in Paris. That mm. image of two heavily armed men, the two Koweshi brothers, uh, in masks, dressed in all black, uh, cradling their AK-47s, going through the streets, uh, entering uh, Charlie Hebdo newspaper, executing the staff, going out, killing a police officer in cold blood, and then driving away with their car full of grenades and Molotov cocktails and ISIS paraphernalia. People thought that was something that only happened far away in war zones, and, and there was an uneasy feeling that that kind of commando attack just happened here in France a few days ago.